And we are back, dear viewers, to welcome with us uh, our guest, uh, Claire Hayden, who's going to be, let's say, presenting about all of the events that are going to be here in Kuwait when it comes into, let's say, uh, the weekend itself. So really happy to have you here today. Thank you for having me, Hilda. Yeah, so um, as we know that the week, let's say, weekend is actually uh, over here, here in Kuwait, and the weather is becoming, let's say, cooler day by day, although it's, let's say, reducing by the, it's getting nicer. <laughs> the temperature <laughs> slowly, but it's getting nicer. So maybe you would like to talk more uh, to the audience about what are the events that are going to be updated in Kuwait. So this weekend, lots of exciting things are happening, um, starting off with four exhibitions happening this weekend, yeah. which are opening. Wow. We have Memories of Peru, a photo exhibition mm -hmm. opening at the Marikani Cultural Center mm -hmm. that opens tonight, mm -hmm. um, Thursday. Yes, happens tonight. Um, and they've actually got a collection of photographs from 1860 to 1950 wow, showing the diversity of the different cultures and the landscape in Peru. Mm -hmm. So it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, also, there's an exhibition opening at the Contemporary Art Platform in Shuwake. Um, which is bringing together the artwork of 200 artists from around the Middle East, mm -hmm. which sounds pretty amazing. Yes, indeed. Um, in addition to that, at the Hub Gallery, there's inscriptions on the wall, which is by a local uh, Kuwaiti artist, Mohamed Kamba. Mm -hmm. um, that's currently on display and well worth taking a look at. Very mm -hmm. nice. And then opening on Monday, we have um, an exhibition called Hurricane PM by mm -hmm. Garda al Kandari. Mm -hmm. That's opening on Monday. On Monday, yeah. Yes. So there, that's an overview of the exhibitions that are actually open. They're actually going to be within the uh, week, uh, weekend itself and the upcoming weekend. Yeah, so they're available. So that's really amazing and I think it's really great to see um, such a great event are actually provided to, for the audience of uh, Kuwait itself and for family to actually go and attend with their friends. Like, don't you agree with that? Absolutely. That I mean, in addition to these exhibitions, we've got some concerts happening over the weekend which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. If you like the musicals, you can yes. go along for a sing-along and wow, join us some really ABBA nice. and then have some fun yes. uh, with a stage in Kuwait crew. Mm -hmm. So they have live musicals tonight and tomorrow night mm -hmm. at the American United School. Mm -hmm. um, also, Omrani and Fabrice, two well-known Kuwaiti artists, yes. are performing live at the Institute of Francais this evening. And then on Saturday, there's um, the Korean festival at Abdul Hussein Abdul Rada yes. Theatre in yes. Salmia. And they're bringing musicians and artists across from Korea to perform mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. Now, this event is free of charge and open to everybody. Yes. But seats are on a first come, first serve basis. Yes, okay. and a lot of people are actually going there when it comes into attending the theatre mm. itself. Let's say the event starts at 7, everyone is there from 5.30 to 6. So, again, a must, uh, let's say, advice for the audience that if you want to attend, these events you have to let's say go early and try to let's say uh, pick the places and book them as fast as you can exactly yes. exactly because towards them um, um, well as we come into Sunday we also have the beginning of the Italian cultural week and they have a great show concert going on the Radisson Blue on yeah. Sunday night yes. uh, where they're actually flying in several artists from Italy to perform uh -huh, which is, amazing which is really yes. lovely and it's really opportunity for everyone to go and see the culture of Italy it's okay. at the artists it's really amazing it's really so. nice and um, if that's not your thing and if you're into more of American football mm -hmm. you can go watch the NFL games live uh -huh. at Cine Magics you know that beautiful rooftop yes. theater yep. so that's on every now every Sunday evening so the weather's so going to be down. every Sunday evening. Yes. Wow, that's really amazing so and really great. Nice. Yes. Really Even nice. Even for everyone who are actually say, interested in the sport itself, it's a really a great opportunity for them to go and, and give it a try. It's just nice to sit outside and yes. enjoy the evening. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, I think, likes to go, let's say, have the week itself uh, for themselves and enjoy all of the rest of it when it comes into all of these amazing events that are going to be actually happening in the that's country. Right. And then yes. we have, towards the end of the week, mm -hmm. we have seven amazing magicians. Wow. Straight from Broadway coming to Kuwait mm -hmm. with the illusionists uh -huh. and performing at the Jabra Al Ahmed Cultural Center yes. um, and they just look amazing it's yes. from the 24th to the 27th of this mm -hmm. is what's well, next weekend mm -hmm. but that looks incredible yes even the tickets are actually uh, affordable for, for everyone like all the family to attend and so on and it's one of the let's say one of the bucket list uh, to do when it comes into let's say the week itself so hopefully yeah. we will be 
manage to go there and let's say have fun when it comes into Definitely. attending this event. it's amazing <laughs> yes. yes indeed and um, they also have if you're a lover of the clarinet mm -hmm. um, they actually have a live clarinet concert um, at the Army Cultural Centre on mm -hmm. Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, which is free to attend, no registration is required, which actually looks a really beautiful musical evening. Mm -hmm. And then if you're into Shakespeare, they have a production, well, screening of Richard III. Uh -huh. Yes, and it's actually been, it's a modernized version set in the 1930s, so 400 years later after Shakespeare yes. wrote it. Yes. But it has a, a very strong cast. It has Robert Downey Jr. in it, Annette Benning also in this. And again, it's at Yarmouk Culture Center, free of charge. So free of charge, and yes. that's the most important, let's we say. We love that. Information, <laughs> information for all of the audience. Exactly. Let's just say free of charge itself. Yeah. For you to go and attend and enjoy, of course, all of these events itself. So it's really amazing to hear about Thank them. you. Yes. And, oh, and on Saturday, if you're just looking for something else to do with the family, mm -hmm. there is, you can go sailing mm -hmm. for no charge at Masila Beach. Uh -huh. It's the beach next to Jamira. Uh -huh. Head down there between 9 and 12.30 mm -hmm. and you can have a go at sailing. Mm -hmm. And if you just wow. want to watch, you can That's just go and nice. watch. Yeah, so this is one of the amazing uh, events that are actually happening in the country. Going sailing with the family is really great. And again, free of charge. And so what you're waiting for. Exactly, and it's sailing with yes. proper yachts, you know, yes. with ropes and things. Yes, but yes. if you want to watch them racing, they have races this Friday morning from 7.30 to 12. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go and watch these yachts racing, which yes. is amazing. amazing. Yes, it's really well, nice. Well, uh, thank you very much, Claire, for your time and presenting all of these, let's say, information for the audience to enjoy when it comes into the weekend and the rest of the week. So hopefully we'll see you, let's say, next Thursday to talk more about, let's say, the upcoming events uh, of Kuwait itself. Thank you, I'd love to. Thank, thank you very thank much, you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And with that, dear viewers, that was our episode for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. And of course, when it comes into providing you with all of the information about Wijha Art Gallery itself and also the Vegan Society. And finally, with Claire and her amazing events that she pronounced uh, recently. So with that, join us again on uh, Sunday at 6 p.m. Until that time, have a great evening.